Hello again, um, Looter FM back again with another episode of my Dynamo to the list C. Let me just say that again. I've got this to, I have got the proper pronunciation for it, so I'm just going to play this for you. Tbilisi. 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 There you go. Dynamo Tbilisi. So, anybody from Georgia, I have actually got people from Georgia watching now. So, um, to the people in Georgia, I just want to say, and I apologize in advance if I get this wrong. Um, Grandma Joba Chems, Mim Deverebs, Yula Maselisi, Sakra, Sakrat Veladon, which um, means hello to my followers from beautiful Georgia. So, there you go. Thank you to the person that commented that they were from Georgia. I really do appreciate it. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for that. Anyway, um, I'm wearing today one of my Man United shirts. Um, this is a fake one, but it's a very good quality fake one, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, I quite like this one. Um, it's got like a tint of green in it. So it's, it's one I've always wanted, and now I've got it. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's crack on with what we're talking about. So where we left off last in the Dynamo save, is we play 24 games and we've got 45 points. We're three points away from getting second place, um, but we have got quite a few games left. Um, let's have a look. Let's see how many league games we've got left. I know you can't see this. I'll show you in a minute. But we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got 12 league games that we've got plenty to play for. We've also got the second leg of the Conference League coming up. We drew one. Oh, no, sorry. We beat uh, Macaba, Pfeiffer, 2 1 on aggregate, and now we've got um, Lit is it Latvian, no, Lithuanian team called Zagoris Vilin uh, Vilnius. I think they're like the main team in that country. But yeah, so anyway, I'll be back in a sec and we'll crack on with the episode. I just wanted to say thank you to that lovely person from Georgia. So thank you, my friend. I hope you enjoy the rest of the series. And anybody else from Georgia, please feel free to. Just leave me a comment in the video, even if it's in Georgian. I've, I've got Google Translate, so it's fine. I'll try and translate what I say back in Georgian so it makes it easier for you, like I did with the gentleman that left me a comment. Right, I'm off. I'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm back. Um, sorry for the long-winded, confusing intro or whatever it was. Um, I was just quite, like, I was just quite... Um, appreciative of someone from georgia actually watching this series now obviously i'm playing as a georgian team but i would never expect anybody from anybody from georgia to be watching this so i, I really do appreciate it but anyway let's crack on with the same as i said to you as i said to you on the intro um we've got europa conference league uh qualifying round first leg coming up against zalgaris We've got plenty of games in the Georgian League. We're concentrating on the Georgian League and maybe the Georgian Cup. Uh, anything else is a bonus. But anyway, let's crack on with the first game of the episode. Um, pretty much looks like it's fairly unchanged. No major surprises. So, oh no, I nearly did something wrong there. There you go. I nearly instant resolved that match. Let's see how we're getting. We're in the blue, I think. Yeah, we're in the blue. Anybody from Georgia, if you know any good suppliers of Dynamo um, Tbilisi, uh, Tbilisi, there you go, Tbilisi. I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right for the people of Tbilisi. Um, if you know anybody that sells the home shirts relatively cheap, please let me know. Would appreciate it. I mean, it may cost a fair bit in postage, though, so maybe it probably won't be a viable option, but you never know. It would be pretty cool to get some sort of um, Dynamo merchandise or something, so I can put it next or behind me or something so you can see it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, nearly scored. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all enjoyed the England-Holland game. Um, I think it was a pretty good game, to be honest. I don't fancy our chances against Spain, but then again, I didn't fancy our chances against Holland. And I think because we're probably going to be, I wouldn't say underdog, but I think most people would probably say 
Spain will win. Um, I think that will benefit us in a way, but we'll see. Um, fast forward to the to Sunday night, and I'll be going. No, we're rubbish. We were never going to win. <laughs> Fair play to the Georgian national team, though they de they they performed really well in that tournament. They were um, they were definitely underdogs, and they proved a lot of people wrong. Cavadon was just an amazing player. I hope he gets to play in the Premiership one day, but I don't I don't know if that'll happen. Right, let's see how we get on with this. So nothing major's happened so far. We've had three shots on target though. We should have got at least a goal with the 1.53 XG. Um, the positive is, though, is the opposition hasn't had a shot yet. So that's good. Fidetti. Oh, no. Fumbled it there. I think he tried to dive and it didn't work out. Let's see if they can get the... Their first shot of the game. Tel Aviv. That's, that's, uh, there you go, Iden Jock. Oof. Bit close, I think. Bit of a slow one this game. We It's a bit frustrating. 2.06 XG, still no goals. I feel like we are, we will score eventually, though. We got, Player knackered. We've got two players knackered actually. Uh, let's take them off. Right. Attacking left. We haven't got any really, so Gordy will have to play there. I had the same problem in my so show save as well, where I've got literally no wingers or no spare wingers on the bench. So I always have to play my strikers on the wing. Right, Fidetti. Oh, we can't take that, yeah. Right, we're kind of just stuck with what we've got now, and we've just got to push on and hope for the best. Hopefully, we can get a goal because we have been the way we've been way better than these. We definitely deserve to win, but because it's nil nil, I've got a weird feeling that they're going to win one nil, and they're only going to have one shot on goal the whole game. Here we go. That's a beautiful ball as well. They deserve a goal. I was going to say they deserve to score that one. <sighs> Um, any Dynamo fans, let me know, is this reflective of real life? Is Dynamo dominating games only to lose against teams that don't deserve to beat them? Let me know in the comment section, I would appreciate it. I don't really know um, how, they, how they've done the last few seasons. I think they won the title there, didn't they, last season, if, I, if I'm right, or the season before. Because on the game, it says um, the last champions of Georgia was Dynamo Tbilisi. Get in, that's what we want to see, 1-1. One, one. Now let's see how we get on. Right, let's try firing up players. See how that'll work. We've had some very bad performances here by Romanovsky and Ibiashvili. Hopefully Romanovsky can redeem himself here with the free kick. No, he fails to score. Right, sinking feeling this is going to end 1 1, which will be a real shame with a 2.86 XG. Right, this is probably our last chance to score it. And we flip into it. Get in, Cudetti. He's knackered. He's literally dying there. He's on his last legs, but he still manages to get a goal. Right, let's just see this game out now. The fact that there's another highlight worries me. That's it. Take your time. Take your time. Let's not rush it here. Let's just... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we just obviously ain't going to win this game. Oh, this just makes me laugh so much, this game. Uh, did I say laugh? I meant cry. Look at that. Three shots, two on target, 0.51 XG. And they get two goals. Yet we have like an XG of four and we get only get two goals. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, well. At least we didn't lose. It would have been more embarrassing if we lost. Right, so our next game is the... Oh, I've done something wrong here. Where's the home button gone? Oh, no. Where have I put the home button? Oh, is it here? What? 
squad planner tactics database. Oh, there it is, all the way at the bottom. That freaked me out then. Come on, move over it and then over it. There we go. Oh, that freaked me out then. Right then, sorry about that. I'll be back in a sec. Right, so we've got our first leg of the Europa Conference League um, qualifying round against Salvaris from Lithuania. So uh, we'll just crack on now and we'll see how we get on. Hopefully, I will do the Dynamo fans. Um, justice by getting this win. Hopefully, we can make the group stages. That'll be really good. Um, I'm currently doing an offline save with Barry Town in Wales. Um, after watching a YouTube video about the history of the club and the fact that they had the, like the, one of the worst owners ever that just hated the club and wanted it to die, and they they've um they did well in Europe back in the day in the nineties and stuff. Um, I think I can't remember who they beat. They beat it. I think it was Bayer Leverkusen or something, I can't remember, but um so I was like, oh I fancy doing that and seeing how I get on. So I was um I'm in my like fourth season or something in Barry Town and I um the furthest I've got at the moment is in the Europa I'm in the Europa League next. Uh the final sixteen Europa League get in one nil. Um so that's in my I think that's I'm in my fifth season now because I, I get through seasons very quickly. But yeah, I've won the league literally four out of the five seasons I've been there. Um, haven't got as far as the second qualifying round of the Champions League. Unfortunately, I always come across like a big team. I've had to play PSG, I've had to play Bayern Munich, I've had to play Barcelona. It's just ridiculous. And this is in the qualifying round. So it's ridiculously hard to get into the group stages of the... Oh, look at that for an easy goal, but I don't think it's allowed. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun save. I'm really enjoying it. I'm gradually improving the facilities. The Welsh league is gradually going up the rankings of the leagues. Um, and Barrytown Football Club as itself is is going up the rankings with the uh, the club rankings and all that lot. So it's a really fun save. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. So uh, yeah, so I actually because it took me ages to get into. An offline save on Football Manager. Where I'm actually enjoying it. I've had, I've done so, I've started so many saves and got bored after about a season or two. Right there, we're well, one nil off. But yeah, have a look at the history of Barry Town if you want, if you like stuff like horrific owners type of thing. Um, but yeah, there was a video on YouTube and I can't remember who by. But if you just type in Barry Town, the history of Barry Town owner or something, I don't know. I think it was like I think the title for the video was like the worst owner in Wales or something stupid like that. So it's easy to find. If every if anybody really wants to see it, let me know in the comments section of this video and I'll find it in my history and I'll link you up. I'll I'll put I'll I'll post it as a reply in the comments. But yeah, definitely recommend watching it. It's not very long, it's about twenty minutes or something. It's uh you can watch it in your break at work. It's quite enjoyable. Anyway, one nil off. Let's see if we can get another one, hopefully. It's an important away goal. I can't like I said, I can't remember if away goals count anymore. Um, but if they do, at least we've got that advantage, it'll be away goal. Oyo Bashvili gives it to Gadetti. Gadetti with a K, even though when you look at the team lineup, it's with a C. I don't understand that at all. Let me know, Dynamo fans, in the comments section, is it Cadetti with a C or Cadetti with a K? Please let me know because it's bugging me. Also, I recommend... Oh, damn it. I recommend anybody that's not um, English, I recommend that you put subtitles on because you might not understand me. Um, that well, so I think that you probably have an option for wherever you live for for subtitles. I'm assuming, unless it's something I've got to do myself. I don't know. Let me know. Um, I'm literally just chucking on anybody here because I'm lacking in certain positions on the bench. So I'm kind of just trying to put on as many fresh legs as possible. That's not what we want. Come on, VL, come to my rescue. Leave it at 1-1, please. 
at least give us a chance when we go to the home leg. Ah. Oh. Okay. We're, we're gone from winning 1 0 to losing 2 1. Very frustrating. Right, this could be the last chance we've got in this game to get back in it. Uh, Lomonazzi loops it over, gives it to Baratella. Gob, oh, come on, Gob, you should have scored that. Corner, we've got another chance here, see what we can do with it. Cadetti with a K. Beautiful cross, unfortunate that we didn't get on the end of that. Still got it though. No, nah, nothing happens from it, right. I think that is it, everyone. Oh, maybe not, Cadetti. Oh, oh, he was going to head that in then. Come on, we've got another chance here. Let's let's see if we can bury this chance. Cadetti. Oh, yes, get in. 12th goal of the season for Jaduli. Right, at least that gives us a, a, a gives us an easier task in the home leg. And we were the better team, so hopefully in the home leg we just hopefully we just beat them. Uh, when's our next game? Right, I won't bother. I'll just holiday. It takes like five seconds to holiday. Must luckily because I've got a quick laptop. Did it? Did there? There we go. Two seconds, and we. Are ready. Right. Let's go through these as quickly as possible. Somebody's not happy. Convince. Positive. What was the thing? Let me have a look. Some people might be interested. In Several players feel like you should give um, Rekesh really more playing time. Well, I don't agree with you. Sorry. Is he very? Is he uh, any any Dynamo fans? Let me know in the comment section. Is he is he very good? Um, he's thirty five, so I don't tend to play old play, older players. Is he like a solid old head like Thiago Silva was, or Pepe, or oh god, suggested right? Let's have a look at this because there's a bug on this game. It doesn't hit um Cavadonna for some reason. Now I don't know why, but we've got to remember to make sure we pick him in the squad. I know what will happen though. I'll probably holiday and then it will just automatically pick it. So I need to remember not to do that. Right then, we're playing Sam Gorelli. We usually do well against these from the previous season, I think I've played. Is the second season? Are we in the second season? Oh no. We're in the first season. I apologise, everyone. Just ignore me. I think we've played them once or twice already this season. I think we have done well against them. That's what I basically meant. Right, Baratella. Come on, Baratella. Oh. Iron Jock. Oh. Oh, by the way, just to let you know, people have been watching my mystery shirt videos and the fake shirt videos. So, um, basically, the guy that I bought the last lot of bulk load of fake shirts from that were... Were, were fit me okay, but were a little bit tight on me. Um, he managed to find a supplier who had a six XL Real Madrid home shirt. I don't know what, what from what season. I think it might have been last seasons, but so he sent it me, and it does fit me quite nicely. It's 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 a, it's still a little. It's not like um like what an X, a six XL would be if it was an authentic shirt. But I wouldn't wear a six XL if it was an authentic shirt because. I only need a free XL. If it's a legit shirt, I just need a free or four XL at the most, depending on what brand it is. But um, when it's a fake shirt, you need to go like two sizes up. Get in, go on, Baratella. One nil. Um, but yeah, it does fit me nicely to a point. Fits me a lot better than a four XL in a fake shirt. Does so at least there's that. Um, so yeah, so and I'm getting some five XL and six XL shirts from somebody on DH Gate um mystery football shirts so i will be doing a video on that oh what a goal by iron joff i end i end joff i end joff 2-0 so yeah so that video will be coming soon i'm going to try and do one or two mystery shirt or eight football shirt videos a month ideally one a week if i can but obviously it's having the money to buy it because the shirts cost me money i've not got loads of money to be doing it um 
So yeah, I'm just doing it to help people figure out who to buy when it comes to mystery shirts or fake shirts. And obviously it does help me get views and watch hours up, so I'm not complaining too much about that. But yeah, um fits me nicely, like I said. I, it's a white shirt though, the problem is I don't like wearing white shirts because they get I I I get them stained easily. Oof. We got some confidence in this team now. We're just blasting the ball and thinking we're gonna score every shot we have now. Two nil up though, just before half time is a good position to be in. 0.93 XG as well, so we're surpassed we're doing better than what the XG is stating. Which is always good. I am looking forward to the England game. Hopefully we win. Because we are a bit of a jinx team when it comes to tournaments. Uh, I know everybody slates Gareth Southgate. He doesn't play the most exciting football in the world. And he does pick his favourites. But you can't argue with the man's success record. Even if we don't win, he's managed to get us to another top international tournament final. And trust me, I am from... I'm, I'm, I'm a kid that was basically brought up watching England in the 90s and the 2000s, uh, and even in the 2000s when we had the golden generation of Gerard, Lampard, Ferdinand, Terry, Ashley Cole, etc., we still didn't get do very well in tournaments. I think we got to a semi-final once, but yeah. So Gareth Southgate's gone and done like way more than expected, but I think comes with that is expectations of we're, we're meant to be winning. I think it's this... I think it's, it's hard to explain. It's... it's as an England fan, we expect to be superior to other nations, and um, which is good in a way, obviously, but I think we've got to be realistic as well. There are other football nations out there that are just as good as us, that's got just as many talented players as us. They don't get bigged up as much in our local media because the, the local media will big up the, the homegrown talents more than the, 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 the players from uh, other countries. So we have that thing where we think that we think, like, for instance, you know, our English players are better than, say, Spain's players. Even though I'd say Yamal's probably one of the best young... Uh, he's probably the best under-18 player in the world at the moment. Um, he's only 17. Is he 16? I think he's only 16, actually. Ridiculous. 16 years old. Only just finished his last exam. And he's playing... He's going to be playing in the Euros final. So, I mean, fair play to the kid. Yeah, imagine that being 16 years old playing for the Barcelona first team and Spain first team going to that's got to be one crazy. I couldn't even fathom that. I like, like I said, at 16 years old, I was just looking to go to college. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't a footballer, I wasn't very good, but like, even if I was a good footballer, to be 16 years old playing for the Barcelona first team and, like I said, the Spain national team is just ridiculous. A ridiculous accomplishment. Um, right then, I'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm back on a stupidly holiday for a couple of days, but I don't think it, it didn't. It didn't pick the automatically pick the Georgian national team for me, so there is hope I can still pick Cavadonna if I remember. I'll probably forget again. But anyway, right, let's concentrate on this first. So in the away leg, we drew two two with Salvaris. Um, now we're playing them at home, so hopefully we have the home field advantage and we can win and get through to the next round, which we'll probably end up playing like a super ridiculous team like Barcelona or somebody stupid like that. Oh, nearly scored after three minutes. We're definitely up for this game, I'll tell you. Free kick to us in a decent part of the area. Straight pass. Oof, Petulia. Oof. Keeping the pressure on. Oh, unfortunately, it goes out for a throw into the opposition. But good start. Three shots already after 13 minutes played. Nothing happened since. Bit of a quiet one. 
Maybe the drama picked up in the second half. Oh, maybe not. They've got a throw in. Mm, don't like the look of this. Oh. Damn it. I feel like we're way better than these. So, don't know, maybe I'm biased, but I do think we've got a better team than them. Right, one nil down at half time. We've got to, we've got to rise from the ashes here and get something out of this. Right, they've got another free kick, nicely held there by Loria. Let's see if we can uh, break from this. Fidetti. that's not good. Loses the ball. Oh my god. It's not looking good everyone. I think we're out of Europe this season. Then again we can concentrate on the league a bit more then. We well, never know. If we get a goal here we might still have a chance. Oh we do get in. Go on. Santis. Right. Slight hope. Right, let's try encouraging the players. Oh, they've got another free kick though. Oh, nicely headed out. Still got it. Ah, doesn't lead to anything, luckily. Right, we can't take any more players off, so we've just got to make do. Um, and what I will do though is. Put him in a more familiar position. Oh, for God's sake, what have I done there? My mouth is playing up today. Right, there we go. And then we put him here. Right, maybe that'll help, maybe it won't. We'll soon find out. Come on, let's get, let's have one last throw at the dice here. Let's just hope for the best. Right, let's go very attacking now. Throw, throw the kitchen sink at them. I don't think it's going to make any difference. No. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. No more European football for this year. We get a little bit of money, though. Oh, we got actually quite a bit, actually. We're doing all right. We've got 1.5 bank balance now. Let's see if we can request the board to give us anything. Try senior affiliate. By the way, I apologise if I click on this way too fast for you to keep an eye on. I wouldn't worry about it. It's not majorly important. That's why I whiz through it. All right, so we can expand the stadium. Um, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. All right, we're back. Um, I managed to remember to um, call up Pavadonna. For some reason, even though he's the most highest valued player in the Georgian national team and literally a god to the Georgian people, on this save, for some reason, every time it comes to an international squad selection, the AI decides not to pick him. And I don't know why, because he's never injured. He's never suspended. It's really frustrating, because I have to then actually concentrate on something, um, which I don't like doing. But anyway, we're playing a top of the... Well, not top of the league. Um, we're playing Torpedo, our rivals, and um, they are second, and we are third. If you look at the league at the moment, um, well, we've got 49 points and they've got 54 points so if we win we get a little bit closer to them um, Sam, Gorelli, Sam Gorelli the team that we beat a minute ago are actually top of the league which is surprising that we actually won right apparently Baratella might struggle in this game to finish right we're in the blue the familiar blue and white shorts Hopefully we can beat them. If we don't beat them, it's going to be very difficult for us to get second place. Um, we need to be title challenging every season, so we need to get at the very least second place. I think next season we we, we will win the league. It just takes us. It's just this season we're just getting used to um, the tactic and well, I changed the tactic halfway through the season, but you know the new tactic and just seeing how we get on with it really. 
But yeah, we'll be interesting to see how that new tactic works with the Georgia national team as well. I don't think I've um, played a game as the Georgia national team with the new tactic yet. So that'll be interesting. Nice bit of passing going here. Gong driving it forward across the uh, um, wing. Yes. Romanovsky. 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 Yeah, Romanovsky. Good goal. For Dynamo to Berlissi. Throwing to us. Gov. Baratella. Oh, that was a beautiful pass, a little sneak little pass. Penalty though. Romanovsky about to get his second goal of the game, hopefully. Yes, never in doubt. Straight in the corner. Right, yeah. Baratella needs to come off. We haven't got anybody on the wings. We're just going to put um, Gordy in there. Gordy. Managed to get past the defender very easily. Beautiful cross. Ooh. Romanowski trying to get his hat-trick in this game. Maybe I should play Romanowski up front instead of uh, Juduli at this rate. We've had to make two substitutions in the first half. That's not good. Gordy. Oh, it's the post. Unlucky not to score there. Right, just going to praise the team, winning 2 0 so we can relax a bit, really. I hope you're all going to have a nice weekend. I will be off to, um, I'm going to my mates for a barbecue on Saturday night, and then Sunday night we've got the England versus Spain game, so. Be a nice weekend and then my girlfriend's got the whole of the week off so we'll probably end up doing some stuff for a birthday because it's a birthday next saturday i've already got her a birthday present she uh she likes to go to like spa days so i've paid for her to have a, a spa day so she can relax Unfortunately, her mom's coming along, which she didn't particularly want, but because her mom really wanted to have a massage, um, she's done all the garden basically, and she was moaning that she could do with a massage. So my girlfriend felt like she had no choice but to say, "Would well, you want to come with me?" <laughs> I'd have just ignored her. I'd just gone, "You ain't coming with me." But we're all different, aren't we? She's um, not as direct as I am. Um, Gordy is a striker. Put you here. And then, are you a striker? No, you're a left back. So we'll just put you here. There you go. Got that for a weird combination of a formation. We're already winning 3 0, though, so it don't really matter at this point. Then again, if they score here, I'm going to get quite concerned. <laughs> and they do. Oh, no. Right, we'll go very defensive then. We'll just see this game out. I think if they get another one, I think we'll be all right. Hopefully, win 3 2. I think we're just trying to keep possession of the ball here and just waste a bit of time by the looks of it. Build slowly here. Maybe we'll end up scoring. You never know. If we keep possession of the ball long. Oh, look at that. That was a beautiful ball. To do the. Ooh. Maybe he should have been less greedy and passed it to whoever was in the centre. Right, we've got a corner. That's it. Waste a bit more time. I'm happy with that. Oh, that was a hell of a shot. Corner, float it up, 
saved by the keeper. Right, let's just uh, finish this game now, please. No more drama. If they get another goal there, I'm going to be quite concerned because I know how football manager works. I'm hoping they don't. Good, good, good. Right, that's it then. Come on then. Blow the whistle. There we go. Lovely. 3 1 win. We've got the book in the next uh, next episode to start. We got the. Yeah, I can't get me words out today. So we've got. Let me just do this first. Let me just do one thing at a time. Do this. Nine games and being. Right. So that's the last game of this episode. And then when you come back to us tomorrow, we'll have a book game and a couple of league games and I think we've got some Georgia yeah we have we've got an Aus we've got a game versus Austria in the qualifying rounds for European Championship and then a friendly against Latvia but we obviously won't play. Um so yeah so that is that. But yeah thank you as always. Um feel free to subscribe if you want but it's not as important as it used to be. Um it's mostly imp more important if you like the video. If you can like the video I would appreciate it because then it gets pushed out more by YouTube. Um, spread the word if you're from Georgia and spread the word if you're a Dynamo fan it might interest other Dynamo fans as well to see how I do with them on Football Manager I can't I wouldn't have thought there's many YouTubers out there doing the same in as Dynamo uh, to Berlissi. Um, but you never know there might be um, so yeah anyway I'll be back tomorrow with another episode thank you as always enjoy the rest of your day bye